Hi everyone, my name is Rick and I'm here to tell you how your new car gets certified and where that sticker that's on the window comes from. When prospective buyers are looking for a new vehicle, often they'll look at the sticker on the window in order to get information about that vehicle, like the specs or the options, uh, and importantly, the fuel economy of that vehicle. However, very often when they take that vehicle home and then drive it on the road in their day-to-day -day practice, the economy that they experience doesn't quite live up to what is often stated on the sticker. Some of it has to do with environmental conditions or different fuel grades, but one of the most common features is that the car that they bought has many other options associated with it that are not taken into account when the fuel economy is evaluated and put on that sticker. Regulators throughout Europe, in Japan, and uh, most of the rest of the world got together and created the Worldwide Harmonized Light Vehicle Test Procedure, or WLTP. The goal of WLTP is to ensure that when manufacturers are evaluating their vehicles uh, and offering them for sale, they're evaluated in the configuration that the consumer is ultimately going to buy. That way, when the consumer purchases that sporty car with the large rims or the sporty spoiler, then the economy that they see on the sticker reflects those different options. Until recently, manufacturers relied on physical tests in order to provide fuel economy numbers for certification. Now with simulation, they're able to evaluate the performance of the vehicle before any prototype is even built. This allows them to get their certification much faster and vehicles into the hands of the consumer much quicker than they were before.